Hello and welcome everyone. Queen Elizabeth II is one of the most popular monarchs in the world. However, apart from her official activities and media appearances, many people are unaware of the Queen's life behind the walls of her castle. For example, do you know how Queen Elizabeth II spends her days? Well, that's what we'll find out together in today's video. Let's start! Everyone knows that Queen Elizabeth II is the sovereign who has had the longest reign to date. She became queen in 1952 when she was only 26 years old and then crowned on June 2, 1953. She has indeed spent almost 70 years ruling the United Kingdom and the other Commonwealth kingdoms. This means that Queen Elizabeth II has a lot of countries to manage, visits to make, and missions to accomplish throughout the year, not to mention her role within the royal family. If she is not on vacation at her Balmoral estate and were traveling abroad, Queen Elizabeth II often likes to stay at one of her royal residences, such as Windsor Castle or Buckingham Palace, where she spends most of her time. One can easily imagine her sitting on her throne, a crown on her head, and surrounded by servants from morning to night. But the truth is that Queen Elizabeth II's days are far from those of a fairy tale queen. Indeed, the days of Her Majesty are always full because she often has a ton of work to do and many tasks to accomplish. That's right, being queen does not necessarily mean doing nothing. And Queen Elizabeth II is a very busy person and even very active. So let's see how a day goes for the sovereign. Queen Elizabeth II's day begins at 7.30 a.m., the time of her awakening. She doesn't need to set an alarm because her maid is in charge of waking her up gently, drawing the curtains back on her room and bringing her a small snack on the tray. The queen begins her day by sipping a steaming cup of tea, sometimes with milk and cookies, while listening to the news on the radio. Then it's time for a bath. Because the queen likes to take a quiet bath every morning, even when she is traveling on a train, however, this daily ritual has certain conditions that must be respected, such as the temperature of the water. The queen's maid knows perfectly well that the queen likes to take warm baths. Another important detail is that the water in her royal bath must not exceed a certain depth, which is often just under 18 centimeters. After her morning bath, the queen is dressed. The dressers help her to wear her first outfit of the day. By the way, the queen may have to wear up to five different outfits depending on the day's programs and any events she may be attending. Once dressed, she is styled by expert hands who carefully manage her white curls. It is 8.30 a.m. The queen is ready to go downstairs to have her breakfast. By the way, do you know what Queen Elizabeth II likes eating in the morning? You may think she prefers bacon or one of those English breakfasts we all know. But think again, because the queen's breakfasts are quite simple. They usually consist of a bowl of crunchy cornflakes, which the queen loves. Sometimes she may also eat fruit or marmalade toast, tea or cookies too. But that doesn't stop her from indulging from time to time in more substantial breakfast, consisting of scrambled eggs, truffles, and smoked salmon, especially during the Christmas season. However, a good breakfast would not be cheerful for the queen without a few tunes from her favorite instrument, the bagpipes. This tradition has been going on for a very long time. Every morning, a bagpiper arrives under the queen's balcony to play for a few minutes. This helps the queen to start her day off well. After breakfast and the beautiful music, Queen Elizabeth II goes to her office, ready to start her working day. A very busy and varied day awaits her, but the queen always starts by reading the newspapers, as she likes to keep up to date with the latest news, especially those concerning the United Kingdom, as well as other Commonwealth kingdoms. Elizabeth II immediately starts reading the daily papers, which are carefully ironed. Yes, ironed. And do you know why? Well, so that the queen doesn't get ink on her fingers when she turns the pages of the newspaper. Wow, that's a clever way for her majesty just need to keep up with what's going on in the world without getting her fingers dirty. Sometimes the queen can be helped by her press secretary, who gives her a summary of the news and events of the world. But newspapers are not the only thing the queen likes to read. She also likes to consult her mail, which is usually very voluminous. In case you didn't know, Queen Elizabeth II receives a large number of letters every day from the British people. Sometimes this number can reach up to 300 letters, but of course the Queen can't read all of those letters that her people send her, so she chooses a few she likes to answer personally. If she can't do it herself, she entrusts this task to a person who must then follow Her Majesty's instructions. In addition to the letters from her subjects, the Queen must also consult the contents of the red boxes, the famous boxes that look like small red suitcases and contain important documents, such as official papers, for example. This is a very important task for the Queen, as she has to read, approve, and sign these papers. 
Consulting, reading, and processing all the paperwork sometimes takes a lot of time for Queen Elizabeth II. The Queen can stay for quite a while, up to two hours, in her office to accomplish this task, which is a part of her daily routine and should not be skipped under any circumstances. But the Queen is also very active, and she doesn't sit quietly in her office all morning, as some may think. Well, she often goes out of her castle to make some visits or to attend events or ceremonies, such as an award ceremony or volunteer activities. It is also said that she used to go out with her husband, the Duke of Edinburgh. She could travel the country and make up to three visits before lunch, but that was before because nowadays, the outings from the castle are less and less. In addition, the Queen still has to spend a good part of the morning with her distinguished guests, generally official personalities, with whom she has to talk for about 20 minutes. After spending the morning working, a break is necessary. The Queen can finally take a break and have a nice lunch, either alone or with family members, such as one of her children. Usually, the Queen eats at 1 p.m. She is served a meal that often consists of fish and vegetables, and no carbohydrates are served. It is also said that after lunch, she studies the menu of the week with her chef who presents the dishes whose names are written in French on the menu. If she doesn't go out in the afternoon after lunch to make other visits or to attend events, the Queen often stays at the castle. She takes the opportunity to walk in the gardens and stretch her legs, but also to think a little. Or she takes care of her dogs, her favorite pets. She even used to ride a horse in the palace park during the weekend. That's right, the Queen, who has been riding horses since the age of four, has always been an excellent horsewoman, and she even owns racehorses. In fact, it is said that she consults the results of the horse races every day. The Queen likes to relax a little, but her workday is far from over. After her afternoon tea time at 5 p.m., the Queen is back to work, among the tasks she still has to do. There is, of course, the reading of the parliamentary proceedings of the day that she has to finish before dinner. If it is a Wednesday, she also has to meet privately with the Prime Minister, who usually arrives at the Queen's at 6.30 p.m. However, things have changed a bit recently due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Indeed, this private meeting does not take place anymore at the castle, as it used to be done before, and the conversation behind closed doors that the Queen had with the Prime Minister are now done by phone. Precautions required, and then at the end of the day, usually around 7.30 p.m., the Sovereign receives again those famous red boxes that she must consult, a last task that she has to accomplish before going to dinner. And that's it. A new day has just ended, and the Queen can finally breathe and enjoy a good evening and a well-deserved rest. One can only imagine the satisfaction Her Majesty must feel at the end of the day once she has accomplished all the tasks she has to do. Yes, but what a busy day. Indeed, although they are rich and varied, these working days are not all rest for the Queen, who remains busy from morning to night. Indeed, Her Majesty can feel very tired and exhausted at night, so much so that she would rather not have dinner and would prefer to slip into her sheets to rest. However, this is far from being the case because Queen Elizabeth II has remained very faithful to this daily routine for many years, and at 95 years old, she still seems to have the energy of a young girl. She is therefore perfectly used to these busy days and remains full of energy even in the evening. This day does not prevent her from retiring to her private apartment when the time comes. So if there is no party scheduled for the evening or she is not going to take part in any event or ceremony, the queen prepares for a quiet dinner. She often eats light, carbohydrate-free meal on her own and then sits comfortably in her living room to watch television, another of her favorite distractions. That's right, like most of us, Queen Elizabeth II enjoys watching television and can stay in front of the screen for quite a while. She is even a big fan of some well-known series and other TV shows that she likes to watch just to relax a bit. Only after finishing an episode of one of her favorite soap operas does she crawl into bed and prepare for a good night's sleep. However, despite a busy day at work, the Queen doesn't go to bed very early and only sleeps after reading a little. Sometimes she would even check the contents of her famous red boxes before going to sleep or look at the schedule of her priority activities for the next day. She might even be the last person in the palace to turn off the lights and close her eyes. With her daily routine, her busy work days which she manages with Brio, and the energy she still has at her age, Queen Elizabeth II has become a true inspiration and great example to follow from many people and personalities. No doubt she will continue to serve as a role model for many future generations. In fact, who wouldn't want to be like her already? You just discovered what Queen Elizabeth II's daily schedule looks like. What do you think of all this? Leave us your thoughts in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. See you tomorrow, same time, same channel, for new videos.